What's up? This is Jordan Gray from Half Lit and Double Limit TV. Hey, this your boy Don Richie representing the Midwest 219 Stand Up. Hey, hey, what's up, y'all? It's Lamar Tate. This is your girl, Monifa. Hey, what up, what up, what up? It's your man, Dave Hollister from Black Street. You know who this is right here. This is Trick or Tretch in the building. Hey, what's up, y'all? This is your boy, Jason Weaver. And whenever I'm back home in the shy, I'm checking out Dope Living TV. Hey, it's your girl, Adina Howard, and you're watching Dope Living TV, live with Greg Gray and the crew. Hey, My bad. <laughs> hey, what's up? It's your boy Greg Gray. This is Dope Living TV Live. Let me start off by saying the views that are expressed on this Dope Living TV Live are not necessarily the views of Dope Living TV or its affiliates. How's everybody doing? This might be my last show because after I win this billion dollars, all right? To win this billion dollars, I might not come on anymore. So, what can I say? You know, so enjoy this show today. We got a great one today. Um, there's a movie that's coming out it's called sasha lanes all right now it uh my guy mark casey he's been on the show before you guys seen his filmmaker he's a producer director he does a lot of it you know he changes baby's diapers all of that stuff that's what he does all right anyway uh man of all trades it's a movie called sasha lanes and uh it's uh starring paula j parker has uh introducing jada page my man tico wells got patrick falsett in there and it's directed by shakola thompson we're gonna find out all about that movie. We're gonna find out what these guys are doing. Tico, Tico, I see you in the in the green room, brother. Yes, sir. Uh Shakola's there, Patrick's there. We ready? All right, let's bring Nicole you ain't mentioned me. Yeah, I ain't gonna mention I was you in the green room. What I do that, you mean the I started thing. to disappear like you did. <laughs> That's okay. Cause after I win this billion, I ain't gonna be here anyway. So it's all don't good. forget to pay me my five, my I'm five sorry. billion. That you when they me. take the taxes, it's four hundred and forty-seven million. I, you know, I, I'm still gone now. Okay, what's going on, Obi? <laughs> yeah. Hey, what you mean I'm you out. gonna get? Is I'm, your, I'm I'm the one. that's billion. I'm out. It's I'm supposed out. to be me. I'm out, Marcella. <laughs> Marcy, <laughs> hey, well, Mo. I'm out. <laughs> We're Mo. out. We're out. Mo. If he wins or he wins, I'm out with them because we're we're they're gonna have to share. Man, I don't know you. And I don't know how he gonna share with y'all. He owes me five and, and, mil. Wait, wait, I don't care what he owes you. He's just gonna give it to me. Instead of going to Las Vegas for a show, we're gonna go to Las Vegas to gamble a little bit. Somebody now let's go to Monte Carlo. Let's go to you Monte guys Carlo. are talking about gambling on my dime. That's not gonna happen. All right. Matter of fact, I'm not gonna gamble. Gonna ask, <laughs> what are you show? talking about? Your dime. Go Monte Carlo. <laughs> not gonna know you after the show tonight. Let's just what end it right here. Right. But anyway, we have a great show today. Really great GI people. <laughs> We're going to be talking to uh, some of the cast members from the movie Sasha Lane's uh, okay. uh, Lane. film. And uh, let's let's get started, okay? First right. off, the producer, she's done a lot of stuff out there, mm -hmm. all right? And uh, Mark Casey swooped her up, got her there. Shakola. Hey. Hi, how are you? Hi, Shakola. Hi, everybody. What's going on, Shakola? What's going on? I'm I'm happy to be on your show. Thank you so much, Greg, for you know making me a part of this. I appreciate it. Hello, mm -hmm. everybody. Hello. Hello, we're happy to have you. Yes, we are. Thank you. So I I'm actually the producer of this show. You said it right the first time, but on the intro, you said directed by Shakola, and I, it's actually <laughs> yeah. produced produced by Shakola and directed by Mark Casey. Okay. Yeah, Mark Casey actually wrote it as well. Um, me mm -hmm. and him, we collaborated and he has, uh, we, we collectively came together and created this story. So a story mm -hmm. by me and him and he actually wrote it. I produced it and it's an incredible show. I can't wait for everybody to see this movie. All we right. can't Mark, wait can't for it to come out. Yes. Now, I, knew, I know if Mark, uh, if Mark heard me say 
what I said at the beginning, my faux pas at the beginning. Mark gonna come at me. I already know. Yeah. That's how I feel. <laughs> you know, we got uh we got some of your partners in here, some of the some of the people that worked on the show with you. Let's bring them on too. This first guy, uh what can I say, man? Look. <laughs> bring them on. Gina says she got a question for you, bro. I, right. need to, I, I got some questions for Quiet Boy. Oh, she Boy. sure did, yeah. <laughs> Quiet Boy. Everybody welcome Tico Wall to the show. What's happening? How are you? <laughs> Hola, como estas? Yeah. Hola. 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 Bien, Hola. bien, y tú? Uh, bien, y tú? Bien. Yeah, bones and grits. I, I got you. No problem. <laughs> oh, Marioso. How y'all doing? Oh, about all of that. Awesome. Marioso. So who are you people, man? Is this a, is this a comedy show? What's going on? <laughs> no. The cola just dragged me off the he couch. He tried to be. <laughs> what was going on? I'm like, yeah. All right, Tico. Dope anyway. living. Is it dope living or dope it's, living? It's dope, dope living. living. Dope living. And that, dope and that living. means good living. That means good living. Got mm -hmm. it. Yeah, brand for nope. me, man. And actually, Tico, we met a long time ago. I used to do a music video show called 95 Music Videos, and I, I've interviewed you before a long time ago. You might not remember that, though, right? Man, in Chicago. Oh, in Chicago, yes, sir. With Mark Felton, yes, 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 yes. A long That's time ago, player, my buddy. You already know. Oh, man, we had such a good time up there. It's been, so, it's been a while, man. Yeah. I, I don't want to keep Patrick out here waiting, man. Okay, this guy right here, Mr. Patrick Fawcett, mm -hmm. he's in the movie as well. What's going on, brother? What's hey, happening? What's going on? Hello, hello. It is hey, awesome hey, to have what's all going of you on? guys. Yes. See y'all. Yes. Hell, hell, the gang's all here. <laughs> yeah, we got a whole crew up on here. We got man. everybody, man. You know, we, we we try to stay family up in here. And we make everybody that comes mm -hmm. on family as well. All right, so let's get to this. Shakola, how did this movie come? to pass well again mark casey he actually wrote it um he came, well him and i were talking about the story um and we used jada page she's actually an actress in one of our other films a day of trouble everybody can go check that out right now on tubi tv for free or you can check it out on all streaming platforms anyhow it's starting jada page um she's an incredible actress and he said i gotta use her again um we came up with this story and created sasha lanes um it will be playing on the 12th at the Chinese Theater in Hollywood uh, for Indie Night at the oh, Indie Night nice. Festival. Yeah, so that came about uh, when I got the script and I read it. I said, oh my goodness, Tico would be great to play this role. Okay. So um, and, and Tico and I, we met years, years, years ago mm -hmm. at the All Eyes on Me premiere. And I told him I was a producer. And he said, yeah, well, hit me up. I'd like to work on one of your projects. and. That's the rest is history. <laughs> so he's in it. And uh, Patrick Fawcett, he did an amazing job. Something, you know, a little bit out of the norm for his, you know, typical roles that he plays. But he came in <laughs> and brung the fire. <laughs> you know, and I, I wanted to, be, before I got anywhere else, because I know, Tico, you got to uh, leave soon. Uh, I want to throw this this uh, trailer out here real quick so you guys mm -hmm. can check it out. Everybody, you all check out. This is Sasha Lanes. It's a trailer for Sasha Lanes. Uh, mm -hmm. It's going to be on Tubi, correct? Well, as of right now, we can't we can't really disclose the distribution aspect of it. We're just we're, we're just uh, focusing in on the screening right now because we got mm -hmm. multiple offers as far as distribution. So we'll let you guys know soon where it will land. Most definitely, we appreciate that. Okay, but here's the trailer for the movie uh, Sasha Lanes with these people in it. All right, be right back. Go look TV live. And this is me, Sasha Lane. You know, like Lewis Lane, but without the S and without the super. Yeah, never mind. One step forward, two steps backwards, yeah. I just got a job in Cali. So what, you don't like my house or something? No, especially because you're in it, so. Because I know what I want Baby, can't you figure it out What's going on in your Vegas? I'm an entrepreneur What do you mean, chill? John forgot to tell me he's married Hey, Samantha Hey, Sasha Guess what? 
I'm on my way to Cali. To California? Mr. Richard said all that's taken care of. I'm a little scared, but excited to be starting fresh in a new place. Sasha from Detroit. Yep, that's me. Mr. Richard, right? Call me Rich, because I'm about that money. <laughs> <laughs> you see me. Ah. Go right back. All right, up and at him, Sleeping Beauty. Come on. Where am I? So you don't remember anything about last night? It's really you? Is it you? You. <laughs> Sasha, what are you doing here? Didn't I tell you on the phone my situation? Smith, I don't want to be here either, but Daddy dropped me off and I have nowhere else to go. Who dad are you talking about? Why would you bring him here? In what world is this okay? Samantha, I just want us to be a family. That's it. Whoa. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, don't shoot. Don't, don't shoot. That's my dad. So, this girl, Sasha, she's your ex-girlfriend Jasmine's sister? Mm, not exactly. Look, Sasha, I'm gonna keep it real with you. <laughs> Take a look at me, yeah. Sasha, let me talk to you for a second. What's going on this morning? Have you been doing a fabulous job here? Summer's over, still getting nowhere, yeah. If winter blows here, baby, I fear we gonna disappear. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> that money. Right. I'm rich because I'm about that money. Go ahead, Pat. <laughs> <laughs> you know how it is. <laughs> so this is a, this is a, this looks like it's going to be fantastic. Okay, yeah. Tito, you play, you play as the father, huh? I play the father of Sasha. And um, the way I look at this movie is um, it's a troubled young lady mm -hmm. trying to escape the inner city. And um, I play her estranged father, and she um, she she and I re reunite and uh, try to figure that out after mm -hmm. after she's an adult. And so um, that's a that's a subject that many many black men experience with their children, mm -hmm. especially uh, that's true. with their 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 daughters man you know when they want to do their thing and go somewhere else and try to explore and be be somebody else mm -hmm. they need that father figure around okay and i think uh from mm -hmm. what i can see from the trailer you guys are, are she she's all over the place number one okay <laughs> but, uh, i think that you know mm -hmm. you got it right gina wanted to ask you a question though tika tico <laughs> <laughs> i said i need to talk to choir board because I want to know why he didn't listen to his dad when his dad said to stay in the gospel music. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you go, why did you leave that Bible? <laughs> why did you leave that Bible at the telephone booth? <sighs> That's so amazing. You know, um, one. Well, I tell you this. One of the reasons why uh, when I met Shakola, um, I told her, you know, if you're ever doing anything, you know holler at me because um many times we we're, we're auditioning in hollywood and this is, has nothing to do with your question okay <laughs> has nothing to do with your question. thank you tico um <laughs> you know right now this this is a renaissance that's going on right now and mm -hmm. um it's it's exciting because there's so many opportunities some big some small but our people are taking taking the opportunity to use the, the, the equipment, the tools, the technology to give ourselves permission mm -hmm. to tell our own stories. Mm -hmm. You know, when I did the five heartbeats, um, it was basically uh, Robert having an opportunity through Fox. They say, look, we got this money right here. Go out, make us something and then bring it to us. And mm -hmm. uh, that didn't sound right. <laughs> but but basically, right, you know, you know, we, we turned our stuff over very quickly. And now we're mm -hmm. learning how to just make the content, 
and because there's so many platforms, um, we 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 can we can have entryway into distribution and possibility of owning your own stuff and a possibility of finding new ways to monetize your content. Mm -hmm. That's what everybody's looking for now. That's why we're all on this podcast. Podcasts mm -hmm. have exploded. I yeah. mean, you could be on a podcast all day for the rest of your life now and, mm -hmm. and, and never get to scratch the surface. But it's, a, it's really an exciting time though. And um, it was great to, to work on this project because um, with humble means, a lot can be made if you can tell a story. Mm -hmm. And one thing about Mark is he can tell a story. Right. And I saw that when I saw the film. And sometimes you don't know what you're going to get. You're like, okay, I did this money. I did this, I did this movie. I hope they put it together with glue. I hope it, I hope. <laughs> but uh, my brother Patrick um, played, did an excellent job. Um, he plays a heavy in the movie and, and um, he really, really, every, the acting is, is, is tight. Acting is real tight. The story is tight and um, it shows you what can be done with with humble means. I'll put it that way. Mm. Is that a good way to put it, Shakola? Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Tico. <laughs> yeah, that's, and, and that's a lot. Of, you said a lot, Tico, because everything that you said, man, is really, really important right now for a lot of people that are trying to do content creating. Um, it's out there for you. You just got to know how to do it and, mm -hmm. and have a good product like you guys are bringing. OK. And, and, and the thing that I like about this is that uh, not only because it's Mark, you know, uh, I, I love Mark Casey. That's, that's a, he's a fantastic, uh, fantastic film, filmmaker, director. Uh, but a trailer tells tells a portion of the story it makes you want to. Mm -hmm. watch, you know what I mean? And that right there, you know, it it, it it intrigues everyone, you know, my people especially, but everybody else is going to watch this. It's, it's going to be a fantastic premiere once it once it goes out. Patrick, let me talk to you real quick, man. Um, now, as Tico said, you're playing the heavy in the uh, movie. Um, you don't look like you're the heavy type of guy, though, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's how you get heavy. Yeah, you don't know how, it's that's coming. how you fool them. <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm I'm more of a guy that uh, I play Richard. Um, call me Rich because I'm about that money. All right. And uh, I'm a, I'm just a guy who gives women opportunities, you know, that are trying to relocate to California. I give them employment. Give them, you know, I take care. I take care of people. So I, I'm, you know, I don't see it as a heavy. I'm just doing my job, making money. <laughs> You're funny dude, man. So Chicago, mm -hmm. how did you get these people? The, the particular group of people, you got Paula J. Parker, you got a newcomer that's in there. Mm -hmm. How did you get these, this group of people together and, and knew that it would work? <clears throat> well, uh, again, I, um, I, when I read, when I read the script, um, I just kind of saw characters. Like I saw Tico actually playing Kevin, the father. I saw him and mm -hmm. I was like, oh my God, this will be perfect for Tico. Patrick and I, we've been knowing each other for several years, and we've always said we wanted to work with each other. I always said I wanted to work with him. And mm -hmm. I said, finally, hey, Patrick, we have this, you know, uh, project. You know, are you interested? And so I called him, called him up, and he said, send him over the script. I did, mm -hmm. and he said, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm ready. Let's go. When we shoot. Mm -hmm. um, wow. uh, Paula, Paula J. Parker, she came from an actual casting director that we had on the project who was also oh, okay. uh, one of the producers a co-producer on the project as well. So she came on uh, through casting. Um, mm -hmm. Other people was just pr pretty much, if I knew them or knew somebody who, you know, could play that part, I'll reach mm -hmm. out to people in my Rolodex, my contacts and say, hey, can we, you know, get you on board um, of this project? Mm -hmm. So. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Nope. Bob going off. <laughs> we can all just do this. Yeah. <laughs> hey, who, real quick, who are you guys? Um, well, my name is Greg Gray. Hey, Greg. Yeah, I'm. I'm like the the creator of this. Um, I used to. Well, I don't want to tell my whole story here. It's about you guys. Give me the give me the one <laughs> the one phrase line. I'm an author. She's an author. He's a <laughs> he's with the Red Cross. She does a lot of uh, other work. I, I'm a comedian and I've done uh, television before as well. And where are you guys? 
Everywhere. I'm in Michigan. Oh, She's in Indiana. The He's in Tennessee. She's all in all over the place. Okay. So oh, wow. Bring it guys Zoom everywhere. Bringing Hollywood to the country, right? We bringing you guys <laughs> to the country. <laughs> Did he Zoom, just call Zoom. Indiana the country? No, it's not Zoom. It's not Zoom. This is a stream, y'all. Stream, stream y'all. y'all. You're, you're on um, Facebook. You're on LinkedIn, and you're on YouTube as well. Mm-hmm. Okay. Cool. Cool. Live. You no. Know, um. This. I, I like to take opportunities wherever I can because um, I've, I've worked for studio movies, I've worked for mm-hmm. network television, I've worked radio and different things. And it's exciting to be on sets where people who, people who look like me and who are, um, have a similar background are working. Mm-hmm. And I like to give young filmmakers an opportunity. I like to give um, um, you know, when I met Shakola, I was like, okay, here's a sister who's wanting to produce. She's producing. Mm-hmm. I want to, I want to, whatever cachet I may have, um, I can lend it to someone and they can also give me an opportunity to practice my, mm-hmm. you know, I started off in the theater in New York and mm-hmm. I did play readings. I did on stage actual performances. I did no money performances. I did union performances. I did off-Broadway theater. I did small movies, big movies, whatever I could do. I did the Cosby mm-hmm. show. But actors need to act. Directors need to direct. Writers need to write. Mm-hmm. Comedians need to tell jokes. And so um, this is this is an exciting time because this technology is taking the excuses away of nobody's giving me an opportunity. Yep. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. There's a lot more opportunities now. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. uh, so like Nicola said, um, on the twelfth, y'all if y'all are in town, and if you're not in town, mm-hmm. you can wait until it comes on on uh, on streaming or whatever. But uh we're gonna be at the the formerly the man's Chinese theater. It's called uh mm-hmm. it's the Chinese theater now, but it's not man's anymore. Somebody mm-hmm. else but uh it's a it's a beautiful, beautiful theater. Have y'all seen it on TV, the Man's Chinese Theater? Oh, yes. Where they put the fingerprints and stuff down. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's Indie mm-hmm. Night Film Festival. The Indie that Night is so Film awesome. Film. Okay. And at 2.30, mm-hmm. we'll be screening, screening Sasha Lane's. Oh, and so um, on the 12th? On the 12th of, of, uh, of November. On the 12th of November. It's a beautiful venue. I'm actually yes. in Vegas from there. I'm, I, I might go. It's in California, correct? Yeah. Yeah, we're right there. We're right there. Yeah. We'll be we'll be in Vegas on the ninth. So Vegas Come is right through. there. Come on through. <laughs> Makes sense. Come on through. Two thirty. Jump I'll, on over. I'll still be in Vegas on the twelfth. Most uh, definitely. Uh, Tico, how long? How how much more time do you have? What time is it? It's uh well, for the show purposes, it's seven twenty three. Okay. Uh, at yeah. half past hour, I got to split. Most so about so, seven minutes. About seven minutes. Okay. Anything right. y'all? Anything else y'all want to know? So, except for them, them dumbass questions, Gina keep asking. <laughs> gonna, we're not gonna, we're not gonna put that out there no more. The Fire Heart Piece is a great movie, man. I know you've done a whole lot more, before, you know, since then. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's, it's a, it's an honor, and, and we appreciate you coming on here and sharing your time. Thank you. Yeah, and I, it, it, I I'm, I'm, I'm so appalled that you don't look much different from when you were in the five heart five heartbeats other okay. than that little the, he does he looks exactly the same i don't know exactly how <laughs> i got nothing but love for you baby <laughs> um you know i'm i'm a big believer in in learning how to take care of ourselves naturally mm, right. that's right organically mm-hmm. fruits and vegetables you know that whole nine herbs you know our ancestors knew how to heal each other with herbs Right, yeah. right. And, you know, different books like the Bible say the herbs are man's medicine. So I've, I've, uh, back in in my twenties in New York, I ran into some people who pulled my coattail and said, you know, it's time for a change. And I've been studying the human body and also mm. the healing modalities that were non-invasive uh, for about close to forty years now, mm. and it's helped me a lot. Um, from my eyesight to different different ailments I may have come across and heart. Uh, I just came back from a, um, a conference down in Houston where a gentleman is feeding his heart patients with natural food, raw mm-hmm. vegan diet. 
And so he still does his heart practice, you know, to make that money. And most people still, we believe in the medical system. We were taught the medical system. Mm -hmm. So that's a, that's a big thing for us. But slowly we're getting the consciousness to go back to mother nature, back yes. to what God created us to, to, to have. You know, even in slavery times, we knew about what to pick, how to pick it, mm -hmm. understood mother nature. And so that's still there for us to go back and learn, learn about how to use herbs to heal yourself. So I appreciate the, uh, the acknowledgement. Go ahead, Ella. I'm not, I'm not letting no more of these comments go through, okay? Uh, He's popular. Did, did one of you guys have a question real quick? I did. I, I was asking if the film has been rated yet. <clears throat> no, the film hasn't been rated yet. Ooh. Yeah, you know, and, and, and it's a process like to we're, we're, we're in an interesting time right now where the traditional uh, assembly line of films has changed over even from network. People are buying streaming systems now. Yeah. You know, the yeah. Hulus and all of these things like that. And Amazon oh, yeah. is jumped in the in entertainment game. Um, and so even cable and Showtime and HBO and things like that is is already from a generation past not right. to mention network so now you got network you got cable and you have streaming mm -hmm. so everybody's learning now how to get our products out there in what could be called untraditional ways even though now it's becoming traditional with uh, all the streaming platforms and it's a it's yeah, a very a lot, of, lot of new outlets, outlets. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very lucrative, too, because these kids are getting out here doing these little contents and they're, they're killing the game. They're really killing mm -hmm. the game. Nicola, is that is that uh, is it difficult for you to navigate those waters? No, it's, it's actually fairly easy. I've been I mean, this is not my first rodeo in regards to distribution and getting the film all the way completed and out on all platforms. Mm -hmm. So. Um, it, I'm actually just grateful for all the networks and, and streaming platforms. And I mean, it's just, it, it's something to where I know at the end of the day, our film will be shown on all different platforms, you know, multiple different mm -hmm. platforms. It's not a hard process for me only because I, this is not my first rodeo, you yeah. know, it's not my first time doing it. Yeah. And you've done a lot uh, as well as everyone on this bottom row. has done a lot. Tico, you got a couple of minutes, man. Okay. I want to give you an opportunity to say, you know, whatever you got to mm -hmm. say um, to the audience. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Sasha Lanes is this film and, and it's a, it's a gritty film about a young woman's struggle to, to get out of the, the rat race of, 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 of trauma and poverty and to make something out of her life. And it's a story of courage. It's a story of perseverance. And uh, Jada Page really does an excellent job in carrying this film. Um, and, and again, having independent filmmakers have the opportunity, it gives us a chance to view other actresses, actors, and, and filmmakers that we would never get a chance to see in the three or four films that Hollywood would say, hey, we need some people of color for these five movies we got slated mm -hmm. this year. Wow. It's an explosion. This is a renaissance time mm. in, in all areas of. So, a, so I, I really enjoyed it. I got to see it in Vegas at the uh, the Vegas uh, Film Festival uh, a couple of months ago. And, and I was I was pleasantly, pleasantly. Uh, uh, I enjoyed the film and, and um, you know, uh, I'm very critical of, of myself whenever I see myself on, on, on screen. Mm. I'm like, I should have done this. I could have done that. But the, the the cast is fantastic. Paula J. Parker, I've never seen her in anything where I didn't really just mm -hmm. believe her. Exactly. You know, Paula comes with her heart. Right. You know? So yeah. Sasha Lanes is the name of the film. Like Lois Lanes with an S. With an S. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate you hanging out with us, man. Okay. Yes, it was a hey, pleasure. Yes, it Nice was. to meet all of y'all. And, you as well. Uh, we, we might see you in Los in, in Los Angeles, man. Huh? We might see you in California. Okay. And also on the Dove Network, there's a network called the Dove Channel, mm -hmm. and uh, for faith-based films, I'll be in a film called Jacob, Broken by God. Okay. Mm. Jacob, Broken by God, 
and that's playing now on the Dove Network. Okay, <laughs> Dove Network. Yep. Check out Mr. Tico Wells. We appreciate you, brother. All right, peace. Take All care. Right. Take care. All right, there you go. Thank you. Marcella, you uh, you had a question. Oh, I thought he was leaving. Oh, oh, see, yeah, it was for Tico. Leaving. It was for Tico. Oh, you missed it. You missed the window. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, he missed it. He so missed the window. <laughs> Patrick, but you quit pointing, man. It's not like to point. Girl, what's wrong with you? <laughs> what's going on? Y'all got no questions for me? Yeah, yeah man. Patrick, yeah, we have plenty of questions, Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> So man, how was it? How was it to work? Number one, I know that you've done a lot of stuff as well, but how was it to uh, work with this cast of characters? Yeah, uh, it, it was. It was nice to working with Jada. I mean, this young actress, she's so natural, and, and so she's just so good. It's just the way she works. It, uh, you believe everything she says. She's just like a natural, and, and that's mm -hmm. why it was so it's so easy to work with her. So that was that was a, a pleasant surprise. I didn't get to do any scenes with Tico, but uh, yeah, most of my stuff was with Jada and some of the other girls. But it, it was and, and with uh, Paula Jai Parker, we had some heated moments. So you know, it'll be exciting to see that. Left that out the trailer, <laughs> <laughs> right? We didn't see that part. <laughs> so, Shakola, why why uh, why the title Sasha Lanes? Why did you guys pick the title Sasha Lanes? Well, you know, when when Mark he begins to write, he we always think of like titles first, and uh, of course, like Jada Page. I mean, she's just a phenomenal actress. Like like uh, Patrick was say saying, she is easy to work with, you know, and just everything that you you see and everything that she say, um, her mannerisms is just incredible. So he was enamored by you know her acting ability, and so was I. So he said, that's Sasha in my next film. And so I didn't I didn't know. I'm just thinking that it's a character's name. And it turns out that's that was the actual title, Sasha Lanes. Mm. <laughs> you know, I, I as I was looking and trying to do some research, there's actually somebody named Sasha Lane. It is. Oh, yeah, it was. I think I looked at Sasha Lanes. Mm. And I was like, wait a minute. And I'm looking and then I looked at the trailer again and I'm like, this girl is not in the movie. So who is this Sasha Lane? But I said, uh -uh, let me stop. Let me stop. Mm -hmm. oh, now, now Mark Case, he's a, he's a he's a workhorse. I mean, he's as soon as he gets through a one, it's, it's it's as if he does another one right off the bat. All right, how e how easy was it to work with him, or how hard was it to work with him? Um, it's 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 fun to work with with Mark because uh, you can do a little improv, you can switch things up. If you if you're trying things and he likes it, you know we, we work through it, and, and it's always he always encourages you to bring bring something to the table. So if, if you got a little thought of how you want to do the scene, and you know you'll run it, he, he lets you go with it, which is nice. Yeah, we we had him actually uh, on the show before, and Mark is a is a wealth of information as well. Yeah, you know, when he speaks, it's like E.F. Hutton. You got to listen. You know, but he's also like he's also like Pete Diddy, all right. You know, he makes a Pete Diddy makes a song, and he's all up in the videos. <laughs> and <that's when> <laughs> yeah, Mark is Mark is in this movie as well. He is in this movie as well. He has a little cameo. Hmm. So, so Mark is yeah, I didn't director. I didn't see that long trailer. I saw the short trailer, so I didn't. I was surprised when I saw Mark up in there. I was like, okay, he got up in there. Yeah. <laughs> you got to get up in there. Kind yeah, of like Lee. It wouldn't be a, it wouldn't be a Mark Casey film if Mark didn't do a piece in there, which is good. You know, I think I think having having him in there probably makes everybody else a little bit better. Am I correct? Nobody yeah, keeps you on your toes. Wrong. Yes, for sure. That's what I would say. Yeah, Mark's a great guy. Everybody on his toes. Mark's great. So. <laughs> So, Shakola, you've been you you've produced a lot. You've also acted in a lot of stuff too. Um, how, what 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 has your journey been? I mean, how how difficult has it been? How great has it been? Were there any obstacles? Well, I mean, I would say my film journey it, it was not an easy journey. I mean, mm. of course, it's you know no, no, anything that you do is not easy. You know, I do it and make it look easy though. <laughs> nah. Nah. But, Say but I make it look easy. <laughs> Why she knocking the dust off her shoulder? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
But, you know, when it comes to, you know, actually acting and, and, and producing in a project, I think that's one of the most difficult things for me, uh, per se, because there's so many hats and so many things that I have to do. And on top of reading my remembering my lines on top of that. So that's a, a difficult task in itself. Um, I did my little cameos and I think I'm, I, I hung up the, 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 the ropes there. You know, I, I put the ropes aside and just really focus in on the back um, behind the scenes, you know. Um, in terms of the journey, um, you know, Mark and I, we met over probably 15 years ago and we started off with this big project and we still haven't made that project. And we were calling studios after studios after studios trying to get this project made and get the funding for it um, after, you know, going to all the major studios and then saying, change this, do this, do that. And you know what I mean? Like we would have to give up our control. So I said, Mark, you know what? Let's start doing this ourselves. Like, why do we need them? You know, why do we need to, you know, get a studio to be attached to it? Of course, because we needed millions of dollars to do that project. Um, which is coming. We're 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 in the we're <laughs> we we still got some years to go, but this is over ten years ago. And him and I we collaborated. Um, his production company and my production company, you know, um, came together, and we just start producing, you know, independent movies from there. So it's not easy at all whatsoever. Um, there was definitely challenges along the way. You know, um, first trying to find the money. You know, getting securing mm -hmm. the funds, then securing the actors. Uh, we shot. I shot my first film with Mark in Detroit called Detention Day. That is on all streaming platforms right now. Um, mm -hmm. It's based in uh, Michigan, the Urban Day version of The Breakfast Club. Mm -hmm. So um, that was our first project that we did together, and we just kept it going. We kept, you know, producing, and Mark is like a, a workhorse. One project is done, we're shooting another one, and he, one after another, he just we just keep going, going, going. Uh, Patrick is also in another film that we shot um, last year. Patrick, we shot. We yeah, shot, last yeah. year. We shot a, a, another film called Halfway. Uh, Patrick Fawcett is in it as well. He's playing a lead yeah. character in that. So I, I play a, a parole officer. I think I remember that. I think I saw that. So you know, sure. still no nonsense. So you you have a couple of uh, a few balls of, that you're juggling up in the air. You're on more than one project, Patrick. Yeah, I'm. I'm. Um, they keep me working, which is good. So that, that's the name I try of the to game. Catch, you know, as, as acting is what I love to do. So when there when there's got something to do, I'm I'm gonna do it. <clears throat> you know, whether it's theater, TV, film, uh, you know, I, that's that's my passion. Yeah, so we I also, love the opportunity. We also have a guy that's on here. He, he wasn't here today because he's doing family stuff with the Halloween thing. Um, who's a stunt man as well. Uh, it was a part of our, our panel too. Sad he had to miss this, but you know, sorry for you. Marcel, you have a question? Yes, I have one, at least one for each one. Patrick, is there any type of character that you have not played that you would love to play? And what is that character, type of character? Um, I'd love to play like a, like an action hero type guy, like Denzel in The Equalizer or Man on Fire. One mm -hmm. of those kind of characters, yeah. the lead of a movie that gets to kick some, you know, some booty, okay, some whoop butt. people up. You can say and, ass. Yeah, <laughs> kick some ass and, and be an action hero and you know, do the right thing and be and return whatever the baby to yeah. her mama or, you know, okay. just that, that kind of action hero type movie with some stuff blowing up and me just walking off all cool. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, Nicole, he, just, he just gave you another idea. Okay. There you go. There you go, show. Oh, I oh, hear you, Patrick. 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 Yeah, yeah, you hear it? Come on, we're going to need some money for this one. Right, right. We're going to need some money. we got to blow some Thanks. stuff up. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna throw, hey, if, you, if you're going to do it, I'll throw 50000 that way. If I can get, if I, you know, if I'm going to get some of the residual. <laughs> oh, okay, see that. Okay. Uh, All right. Let's Great. go. I'm, hey, because I, look. We got it. We got it on tape. But the caveat exactly. is, the caveat is Mark has to, Mark has to direct it. And Shakola, and Shakola has to produce it. Absolutely. Now we're talking. Let's there we go. go. <laughs> Shakola. Yes, ma'am. You have your own production company, correct? I do. I do. Okay. Um, Cola. Is it Cola? Cola Produ Limited Productions. Limited? 
um, as a woman, a black woman in that not field. Black, you're not black. I'm sorry. Cool. Go ahead. <laughs> um, how was that for you, being a black woman in um, with your own production company? Was there a lot of uh, were there a lot of walls that you came up across because you're female and black? You know, there's always walls, and and especially mm -hmm. because I'm a female, um, it it wasn't an easy you know transition. It wasn't an easy journey to start this uh, process. But I I, mm -hmm. I really um, owe it to Mark Casey actually becoming my mentor. Like he really mentored me um, and took me underneath his wing. So I learned mm -hmm. a lot from Mark, and he already had his production company established. So by him taking me underneath his wing and me getting the information and knowledge mm -hmm. from him and really transitioning to my own production company, um, that helped because I had the information, I had the tools um, to, um, you know, build that, you know, production company. So mm -hmm. in terms of it being hard, it, it was hard because you have to prove yourself as a female, you know, you have to work harder, at, you know, as a female, and then you have to get taken seriously. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't take you seriously when you're a female and you're saying, hey, I got this movie. You know, let's sit down. Let's talk. We, I need, mm. you know, investors. I need funds. You know, mm -hmm. so they're like, wait, uh, you're a female though. Like, you know, but what is this? And you know, so it's it's always difficult for people to take you seriously as a yes. woman, and especially in this entertainment, you know, mm -hmm. business. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, you know, just before we go forward, uh, we're going to redirect, regroup, and refocus. We have a life coach on Dope Living TV Live, and we're going to just. Hear some words from him, Jeff Relliford. See, they're waiting. On, they're waiting. They think it's me. I don't. I ain't got no life coach. It's I not can't. you. <laughs> Look, Patrick, face like, huh? huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's not <laughs> him. This is the life coach, Jeff Relliford. We'll be right back. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Today we are gonna focus on celebrating. Now, when you celebrate, it's always not good to just celebrate yourself. Yes, you wanna celebrate your successes, your wins, your honors, your goals, achievements. Yes, celebrate yourself. That's what you're supposed to do. But did you know if you humble yourself and you go ahead and you celebrate others, that will open up more doors for you to receive your successes and your blessings. I get it. We all doing our little individual things in life. You know, and we all hold things personal and near and dear to us. But I challenge you today, go out and actually celebrate a friend. Celebrate a family member. Hell, celebrate somebody who just out here, you know, is doing a good job. Remember, life isn't always about you, but it is about you. So humble yourself and celebrate somebody today other than you. Remember, redirect, regroup, refocus, Dope Living TV Live. Peace. J real. All right. Don't podcast on Mondays. All right. And this is not about us. It is about Sasha Lanes. The producer is here. Shakola Thompson, one of the mm -hmm. actors here. Patrick Fawcett is here. All right. And guys, we've had a great time speaking with you guys, uh, learning about the things that you guys have done. All right. Knowing that it's hard mm -hmm. to be a in this industry, but you know you can brush it off your shoulder. And they don't have to know that you, you're struggling or anything like that. <laughs> you wear it well, Shakola. <laughs> so what's next for you should go well um i actually have a lot of exciting things happening right now um i uh i'm gonna come back on your on your live uh dope liveness dope, dope living, living tv dope live living. <laughs> dope living. How can I mess that up? See, okay, dope, dope living TV live. Dope living TV. I'm gonna come back on Dope Living TV and talk all about it as soon as it rolls out. I'm so excited. Mm. I got um, several projects that I'm producing. You know, um, I got about ten other projects. You know, in the wow. making right now in the can. Mm. So um, you're gonna see a lot of projects that mm. that I produce. And Coming. we want to be here for you. We're, we're always here for you. Okay, Pat, what's next for you, bro? 
I said, well, I, I'm in one of those projects too, so I'll be back. With that. <laughs> that was going to be my question. If you guys are going to work on anything else together. Yeah, yeah we, we worked on uh, another project together. Uh, mm -hmm. That should be really good. Mm -hmm. um, I, love I love it when we can see, um, you know, like you, 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 Patrick, we see you on the screen and you're acting one certain way, but then we get the real Patrick here. Mm -hmm. we, 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 we see that there truly is a such thing as an actor, okay, that, you know, you can step outside of yourself and be somebody else and entertain us and, and, and make it happen. One other question for you guys. Um, when the pandemic hit, how difficult was it for you guys to, to still do what you do? It was it was tough. I mean, it was a nice little break. I took a lot of online acting classes and <laughs> and like classes where uh, uh, with a uh, networking classes with a uh, Richard Lawson had a really good networking class. Uh -huh. Your network is your net worth. So I uh -huh. took that class. Um, you know, it's just more opening my brain. Took some cooking classes. <laughs> you know, it's a lot of a lot of downtime. What about you, Shiko? Well, um, in, in terms of you know the pandemic, I, I was mm -hmm. able to still work because again, Mark and I we have several projects in the can that we shot. So I was still working with editors, still working on post production uh, films that we shot. You know, years ago, Sasha Lanes is not a new film. We 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 shot uh, Sasha Lanes. What over about three years ago, right? Years ago, right? Yeah. So that's yeah. A, and we were a, shooting. We were shooting halfway during the during the pandemic. Yeah, we sure wow. did. We shot. Yeah, we, so we had all the all the compliance officers, masks, and all that stuff. No. Yeah. Yeah. We, no. we working it. Yeah, mm. we, we sure did. We shot. We shot during the pandemic. We shot a few projects during the pandemic, and. Um, I can't wait till you guys see halfway. Uh, Patrick Fawcett, he does an amazing job in that project. Something totally different from this character. So. <laughs> I can't. Yeah, that was a fun. That was a fun character. I can't wait to see Sasha Lane. I can't wait to see. Uh, it. Yes. Um, you know, this, we, this oh, yeah, is, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be yes. good. Any anytime. You know. Um, you know, this is becoming the Mark Casey Network here. All right, seriously. Mm -hmm. <laughs> whatever. Right. Right. Whatever Mark has. <laughs> that's having having for the people you know i want to be able to put it out here too most definitely because uh mark's mm -hmm. a fantastic individual uh shout out to mark i know he's watching uh shout out to you brother i appreciate you uh number one getting me in contact with shikola shikola appreciate you for getting me in contact with patrick and tico mm -hmm. and everybody else man we're, we're here for you guys and, and we appreciate you guys coming and spending a little time with us Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much for having us. We really appreciate it. If you guys are in town in Los Angeles, come to the Chinese Theater on Hollywood Boulevard and check out Sasha Lane's is playing at 2.30 on November 12th. Uh oh. Like I said, we're going to be in Vegas on the 9th and we're staying until the end of the week. So that ain't nothing but a yeah. hop, skip and jump. Right. Right. You know come on so out. More than likely. Come on through. Check it out. You might see my melanated ass there, man. <laughs> well, well, let me know so I can put some tickets uh, at Will Call for you. I would awesome. definitely do that. Okay. Uh, before, before you guys leave, though, um, every day on the show, we, we try to give some people out there some, some words of wisdom. Uh, not necessarily about what you do, but just life, you know? And we want to start with you, Shiko. So uh, words of wisdom in life. I mean, you know, regardless of the journey, regardless of what you're going through, it's imperative to never stop, never mm. stop, never stop believing in yourself. Keep on going. It, it doesn't matter who tells you no, you keep going because there is a yes out there and you're going to be able to do any and everything that you want to do in life, especially if you believe in yourself, stay focused, stay the course, you know, don't let anyone deter you from your dreams, hopes, or any admirations you may have. Thanks. Pat, what you got? Uh, my my uh, advice is to enjoy the journey. I mean, enjoy those those days, those auditions, running around L.A., those days sleeping on your friend's couch, uh, you know, as you're getting rolling. You just got to enjoy the journey. I, I've had yes. the best, best time in L.A. in my many years here from 
you know, going on auditions to meeting new people to networking with other actors to hooking up with people like Mark Casey and Shakola and, and and then doing films. So it's just just enjoy the journey. And, and if you're an actor, act, whether it's you're getting paid, whether you're doing theater, whether you're doing TV, whether you're just doing a little independent film or whether you're writing your own scenes to do. If that's what you love to do, do it. Facts, facts. Marcelo, real quick. Yes. Um, again, thank you guys for coming on. Tico, when you watch back, thank you also for coming on. And like uh, Shikola said, um, pretty much follow your dreams. Don't let anyone stop you from that. If you fall down, get back up. Take those next steps and keep moving forward. Be. Man, I learned a lot tonight. I, I kind of like have been quiet. This is as quiet as I've been in a minute. And yep. you know, I'm, just, I'm just learning a whole bunch. I uh, appreciate you guys coming by and giving us this knowledge. That's for sure. Thank you. you know, Man, I can't wait for the movie. You guys have pulled me yeah. in. And it's just yeah, refreshing true. to see actors, actresses, producers, writers to come on and actually see the person. We see them on TV. Mm -hmm. We see them in film. And we have in our heads, this is the person, their personality. This is them. But it's really not. They're acting. And so, you know, you guys are so down to earth. It, it, it was just a pleasure to have you on and actually be able to connect with you all as a person. So thank you so much. Yes. Thank you. Um, yeah, a lot of people were mad at me after Tyler Perry's show. They were like, oh, man. Tony, I didn't want to bring that up. <laughs> like, what what, what no. show was that? The what, haves what? and have not. Oh, and why were they mad at you, uh, Patrick? Yeah, everybody. Even my mom was mad at me. Why are you going to take your son's kidney? Why are you going to do that? I said, Mom, that ain't my son. But you ain't like that. I tell Tyler Perry, you're not like that. Said, okay. Do people in, on, on the streets come up to you when you play characters like that? Um, wanting to confront you as though that is your real character. Oh, yeah. I had a lady come smack me in a restaurant oh, one time. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, I was sitting there in the restaurant with my <laughs> wife and my daughter, and she just smacked me on the side of my arm. She's like, how are you going to try to take your son's kidney? It's TV. <laughs> yeah, it's TV. <laughs> That is cashier at the grocery store was mad at me. I'm like, okay. That kind of you I, away said, I know I'm doing my job then. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right? I was trying to say, right. pushing you away from the, the superhero, you turning you into a villain. Enjoying your job. <laughs> That's the most important part about it. Shakola, do you do you take, um, so, what is it, what do they call it, uh, scripts and pictures and things of that nature? What's that? Hey, repeat that. Do you take uh, pictures and 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 uh, scripts and things of that nature from other people that are trying to get into the business? Yes, I'm actually I'm I'm actually accepting a lot of scripts right now. I'm I'm actually accepting um, projects that are already um, ready to go and don't have a home. Um, mm. So if people need distribution, they can send me a note, send me a message. Um, I would love to see their projects. Uh, I do. I do. I'm a. I'm an independent producer on top of only my own uh, production company. So I, I'm well equipped to shoot a project um, from start to finish, develop it out. Um, if they already have it, uh, we can strategize and talk about what we can do to move forward with that project. If it's already completed, you bring the project over to me, and I can mm -hmm. uh, get, make sure you got a home for it. Definitely. How about yeah. people that are trying to get into acting? Can they shoot you their their photos and bios? Oh yeah, uh, most definitely. That's I. A lot of people send me headshots, their resumes, and I just keep a Rolodex of them because, you know, Mark and, you know, he has so many different projects. And over the years, I just kind of compiled, you know, just the database of actors, actresses, and a lot of people that I know and like, hey, this, she's a great actress or hey, he, he's a great actor. So um, I, I've compiled that over the years. And if I do have a project and I can't find the cast director, the casting director can't give me a person that I need. Well, mm -hmm. I'll go through that list and say, hey, I got this part for you. Hey, can you read this line? Can you, you know, do that? And they send me an audition tape back and we look at it as a team and then we go from there. And see, so, that was that was my inspiring comments, okay? Because we got to, 
we gotta we gotta help each other. We don't we don't mm-hmm. nobody's Absolutely. obligated to do anything for anyone. All right, it's a way to Absolutely. do things. All right, but we uh, as a people, instead of us pushing against one another, we need to come together because we could yes. we could make the new black Hollywood. We Absolutely. could make the new black Wall Street. We could do all of this. All right, but we gotta stick together. We gotta do our thing mm-hmm. together. Again, Shakola, Patrick, Tico, we appreciate you guys for coming through. Yes, uh, yes. Your family now, so there's nothing you can do about it. All right. If you need us here and uh, hey, Pat, man, look, looking forward to seeing you and a whole lot of other Mark Casey, Shakola Thompson mm-hmm. projects, man, as well as uh, projects that you're doing your own. And Shakola, yes. we love you guys, man. We, 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 uh, I can't wait for Sasha Lanes to come out. I can't wait. Thank you. We Thank talk you to so Mark, much. We talked to Mark, tell him I got his, I got his cup. Okay, I will. I'll definitely. <laughs> he told me to send his regards. He's out on another project right now. Otherwise, he would have been here with us. Oh, I know. I know. Mark Mark is so busy. The last time he <laughs> walked us through until he got to where he right, was. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> he walked. I mean, he, was, he got out of the car. Then he walked through someplace. Then he went to a store, still talking to us. Then he yeah. came out and got to an office and, and talked <laughs> until it was time for us to get off. I mean, Mark, <laughs> yes. when Mark do something, he does it, okay? And, and I'm, I'm proud to call him, you know, somebody we can call a friend, so. We appreciate you guys, and uh, yes, uh, hopefully, we'll uh, see you again soon. November 12th uh-huh. at 2 30. <laughs> right, yeah. we'll see you after the, after the screening. I'm there, man. I'm there. It's, it's a done deal. I'm there. All right, this is Dope Limit TV Live. We will see you guys tomorrow with some more. All right, and uh, once I find the right title to press, we out of here. All right, but anyway, <laughs> we'll see you guys. Thank, Thank you. you.